Hello everyone, welcome back to Leisure Suit Larry 6. Yeah, yesterday we had a date with Shabli. <laughs> that went wrong. Well, for Larry it went wrong. Right, so, uh, but she left something there uh, at, at the beach. So we're getting, uh, we're heading into the beach or towards the beach. And I think I am going to... Oh man, I need to figure out how to get there again. I'm gonna... I'm not gonna walk through the Pixel Precise Corridor again. I'm gonna move... Move out. Walk out. And then that way, that will probably lead us there as well. Shit. It's shit. If we go... If we go uh, up here. And then... From the pool to the right. At least the music is very pleasant. Hey, there's people in the bar now. The floaty bar. And they're floating away from me. That's not nice. All right. We're at the beach again. You son of my beach. Hmm. Chambly left our champagne here. <laughs> yeah, pick it up. <laughs> uh. Like you always say, a little warm champagne never hurt anyone. A warm? That's the Besides, I earned this. Absolutely, Larry, you hero. Right. <sighs> sure. All right, so we need to go back to, uh, I think, the entrance. The entrance of this spa, CQ Hotel, which is uh, which is right here, isn't it? Okay, but now we um, I think we have to wait. Here we are at the fabulous La Costellata Resort Hotel and Health Spa. The finest symbol of yuppie youth, life, and vigorous good health. Somehow it vaguely reminds you of a taxi driver's hand. I see it now. It's it's funny. Now, uh, we are heading in, in here. I think we know what we need to... You rub your hand. No, just move in, Larry. Inside. There. I think we need to wait for the fartmobile. I think we need to... Fartmobile? There you are. Wait for me! We. Hang on! Hey, it's Mr. Hello. You're, you're going fast, I'd man. like to get off here, please. No, we no don't. No problem. Please wait until the tram has come to a full and complete stop before exiting the vehicle. And thank you for riding Art's tram line. No, no, no. No. Wait for me. Yeah, I want to get on. I'm not at my destination yet. Hang on. Okay. Well... I wonder where, where, where you will bring me, us. We have reached the end of the line. Please watch your step getting off the tram. And thank you for riding Art's tram line. Okay. Ah, uh, please step out of the way. I, I need to turn my tram around. <laughs> Sorry, this is the end of the line for me. But if you'd like to go to the other end of the hotel, wait for me to turn this baby around. Sorry, this is the... Uh, sure. Please step... Okay, I, I know you need this. I don't really have any use for that. I I, I just drive the tram here. Ah, uh, please step out of the way. I, I need to turn my tram around. Okay. Well, I'm stepping out of the way uh, then. Please step... Out 
Okay. There. Uh, lose something? Well, kind of. I was just thinking about heading over to the employee's campground for a cigar break, but I'm out of matches. Don't worry. I got one. Hey, Art. You want a match? Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> That'd be good. You know what they say. A woman is only a woman, but a good cigar is a smoke. Who said that, anyway? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Anyways, we got Bart something often here. often parks his tram here while he heads off for a smoke. Right. So, what can we do with that? If you're thinking of trying to do something to the tram, you'd better be more discreet. Art might see you. You're right. We gotta wait for Art to disappear. Later, Art. Just... Ciao. I wonder what this baby looks like under the hood. All right, let's take a little look inside. The battery supplies all the tram's power. Without it, the tram wouldn't move, and Art would have to walk. So is there a... The tram's toilet tank cleverly disguises an electric motor with power source. Okay. This might be a transformer. Then again, with your knowledge of electronics, it might be a ram ship. <laughs> Okie dokie. The tram's toilet tank... The tram's... The trams. Okay, I'm looking the for trams, the trams. A power cable runs one. from the battery to the tram's electric motor. It is held on by some small clamps that are too tight to be turned by hand. Okay, no worries. We got a tool. This pulley connects that one part of the. Oh, we got this pulley. There we go. Clever! You use the wrench to disconnect the power cable from the motor. I don't know why that was really clever, but let's wait for Art to return. That ought to cause this guy some trouble. Yeah. Look out. Here comes the driver. Sorry, Art. I, uh, I mean, um, I took care of your trim. Hey, what the? Ugh, I'd spin gone by for this stupid ass tram. Oh, that's, you know what, that's fine. It's dark in there. Where's my light? I don't know. Um. Excuse me, sir. May I be of assistance? Can I help? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, something happened to my motor. Not getting any juice, and I don't seem to be able to hold up the hood, aim the light, and still work under here. Uh, maybe I can help you. How about if I hold your flashlight for you? Sure. <laughs> Anything is better than this. There. Does that help? Yeah, perfect. Now I can see what's going on under here. It looks like some butthead disconnected my power cable. But I think I can force fit it back on there. Oh, can you? Yeah, got it. <laughs> now, let's see if it works. All right, so we got, um... Art gave you a large flashlight containing at least six D cells. You presume this baby could easily double as his nightstick. Probably, but there's we wanted batteries. You deftly we? open the flashlight, extract Art's batteries, then close it up again, all without him noticing a thing. Slick move, Larry. Because now we can go back to the mud bath. Hey, Art. Oh, oh, oh! Hey, hey! I almost forgot. I need my flashlight back. Yeah. It's right there, man. I'm giving it to you. No worries. There's nothing wrong with it. Just... There you go. Boy, that sure is a powerful flashlight. Yep. Titanium alloy case, Fresnel lens, leather carrying case, and six D-cells worth of pure candle power. See you later. And if you ever need a ride, just say so. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. I need a... Okay. Bye-bye. I need a ride. The tram is just leaving for Kingman, Barstow, Cucamonga, and all points west. <laughs>
things. No! Wait for me! I want on, because I don't want to click my way. Hang on. Through that pixel spot again. If only I knew before I could take the tram. Bum, bum, ba, ba, da, bum. Da, 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 this goes a lot faster. Uh, I'd like to get off here, please. No pen, thank. You. Yeah, thank you very much. We're heading back into the mud baths. Skip it up, booby doo boo. Skip it up, booby doo boo. Right, and um. You might. Yeah, no, we need to walk. Okay. We're heading back to, uh, what was her name again? Chardonnay, which is also a wine. Great. So, can we take a little look-see at you again to speak to you? Sure we can. Hello. Charlotte Denae reclines in her mud bath. You cast your most radiant smile at her. She barely glances at you. Good enough for me. <clears throat> why, why would you do that, Char? Here's your battery, Char. But I might mention I had to go through a lot of trouble just to find them. Oh, they're perfect! Woo-wee! There'll be a hot time in the old Char tonight. So, uh, what do you say? Uh, how about I climb in that mud with you for a little good, dirty fun? <laughs> oh, no, Larry. I have a much better idea. I've been in that electroshock exercise center so much this week, I'm sure I know how to work it. Why don't we go over there for a little charge session? But don't they keep that door locked? Well, yes. But if you're smart enough to find me six heavy-duty D-cells in a health spa, I just know you can find a way into a locked door. Um. This door bears a tiny brass plaque with the delicate La Costellata logo and the words Electroshock Exercise Center. I think I know what to do. You carefully strip away approximately two centimeters of insulation from the end of the wire without the three-pin grounded plug. <laughs> Are you using your teeth? Okay, perfect. So, um, I think we will have to use it on that thing. And then on that thing. Here we go. High voltage. Danger, danger. Cleverly touching the electronic lock with the bare ends of your electrical cord, you pass 120 volts at high amperage through the electronic lock's delicately printed circuit boards, frying them immediately with a gratifying shower of sparks. The lock gives up the ghost as its solenoid freezes in a permanently open state with a loud click. We did it. Hey, Charlotte, I've got it open. Come on in. Good work, Larry. I'll be right there. Just let me take a quick shower first, okay? I'll meet you inside in a few seconds. Yeah, I wish I had a dollar for every time I've heard that. Okay, Char. I'll see you in a few minutes. Right in here, okay? After I shower, I'll meet you in the Electroshock Exercise Center. Yeah, I thought that was pretty clear that we would do that. Why, why do you keep on mentioning that well, every sentence? That's the end of that. I know I'll never see her again. Yeah, probably not, Larry. You know what it is, man. You try it. You, you got plenty of... You got... Well, you haven't got anyone, but... You tried your luck. What the hell is this? Well, what is... I suppose I have plenty of time to explore this place. Yeah, why... What... Why does that look like a toaster? Oh, no, no time. Yeah, I am, Larry. Hello. Hi, Char. That was fast. I really rushed through my shower, 
I hope you don't mind. I'm still dripping wet, and I didn't have time to put on any clothes. Oh, uh-huh. the, the score bell? Um, uh, no. Um, uh, that'll be fine. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> but don't you need to be fully grounded, babe? Oh, don't worry your pretty head about me. Just take off all your clothes and hop up on that table. Okay, if you say so. The bell, the score bell is dinging along with it. Oh, it stops. Now lie flat on your back so I can have total access to your entire body. What are you going to do? Hey, this may work out all right yet. I don't know. They all have something off. To begin, I'll just smear some randomly selected appendages with some of this electroconductive jelly. Um. Um. Next. I'll attach these little alligator clips to various parts of your body. Um... Ow! Um... 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 Nothing's going on. It's... <laughs> Did the game freeze? Is that it? No, I don't. I want I want the electric moment to But it's not doing anything. So I think we have to skip. Ah, that's such a shame. Yeah, there's nothing happening, so I think I have to. Okay, we ended up in our room again. After a full night of sparkin', a little nap feels good. It's a shame, though, that it happened. All right. We're heading back there, though, because she, uh, she left something. Hurry up, Larry. A lot of... No, I don't have much time. Larry. Alright, pixel precise corridor. Boop, boop, boom. Scooby doo boo. Sibba dip boom. You're going the wrong way. Oh well. Pork, I tried. Zip dip doom. Yeah, we're almost there. I know it's a long way to travel. And there's no teleporting in this game. There's no map in this game that you can click on and just move there. No. <coughs> I'm sorry, we can still open up that door. Oh boy. <clears throat> Every time I come, I'm slowly dying. Alright, so there should be something laying around. Uh. There. A large pearl earring lies on the floor, exactly where that naked woman dropped it as she ran screeching from the room. I have no idea what happened here. I I don't know. Right. So now it is time to move all the way back. <sighs> all the way back. Where to, I hear you ask? Well, we're heading into the kitchen. Remember where that is? It's all the way back. Oh boy. Larry, move faster. Use your, your tiny little legs, man. To uh, move your butt to where we want you. We need it. We, we, <laughs> we need your butt there. Oh boy. All right, so if I recall correctly, it's been a long time since we went into the kitchen, but it's 
two screens to the right, two pixel precise bippity bops to the right. So first one is lounge, then we got the mirror mirror room of this one, which has the door that leads to the kitchen. Skip at a peep a doopie doo. Okay, come on. It should be this door. Don't you agree? Of course you do. Uh, this is the kitchen indeed. But now we got some more tools. This tire has plenty of high pressure air inside. And we need that. Why would a ritzy resort like La Costellata pass out uninflated flotation devices? I have no idea. But that's what we need to uh, blow up. Cleverly realizing the truck's tire is a source of pressurized air, you press the beaver's inflator onto the tire's valve stem. There we go, we get a... I uh, hope that was good for you, too. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Oh boy. All right. Um. So then we have. Let's see. We need. We need to combine this. No, we don't need to combine that. We need to combine this with uh, that. You deftly attach the dental floss to the sunglasses polishing cloth to form. A rather small European style swimsuit. Why European style? I don't wear those swimming shorts. The exit is here, Larry. It's on the other side. I wear a uh, knee length swimming trousers. Shorts. Very little shorts. Alright, but we are going to uh, to the pool. Zippy doo doo doo, skip it data, which is right there. Hey, Art. I wasn't wrong with your fart mobile. It's the Art mobile. Da -da 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 -da. All right, let's change into that. Share. Walk to the bushes. It's fine. And now we're going to talk to you about something special. Um, I notice people are getting something from you. Uh, what is it? Um, may I get something too? Sir, besides the important job of guarding the lives here at the pool, I'm also responsible for maintaining strict security over our combination high diving tower and bungee jumping platform. The gate to the tower, which you may have noticed over there, well, it's kept securely locked at all times. Uh, no one, and I mean absolutely no one, is allowed admittance without proving their qualifications to yours truly. Guest safety is our first concern here at La Costa Lada. We can't afford to have any of our paying customers injured in any way. You understand? Oh, I'm not a paying customer. I'm here on a freebie. Oh, well, here you go, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do we get? The key to the diving tower looks... The key you swap... All right, let's use this on that door because we're going up we're going into that the bungee tower thing yeah climb all the way up larry it's probably that's pretty high all right um so what we're gonna do is we are going to copy this key by using a f um the file on this key? Sure, this file would easily alter your room key. Oh. But no. That yes. key. 
you carefully file this key with your bastard file using the lifeguard's key as a pattern. There we go. Now you have your very own tower key. Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna walk right over there. And then into the pool. Da 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 da! God, is the pool deep enough? Oh, belly flop. That's gotta hurt. <laughs> yeah, that's not that uh, really hurt. That's not good. Uh, let's. Hmm. Maybe I could suck the. Don't do it, Larry. No. You don't know whose mouth has been on that beaver. Oh my God. This, use this. Okay, so now we're apparently we're out. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, you. Bring back the tower key before you go swimming. Uh, pain. Sure. There. You know what? There you go. Fine, here's, here's your key. Here's your key back, Mr. D. Or may I call you Billy? Billy? Preferably. Don't call me. Billy D. Fine. Okay. Um, we are going to do a lot of different other things next time. So thank you very much for watching. Let's just sit Larry Six. Shape up or slip out. And I will see you next time.